Welcome back. How will we feed Milwaukee and the world 30 years from now? That's the question tackled in a new book written with the help of students, some right here in Milwaukee. It's a project for Sharp Literacy, and Linda Kohler is president and CEO of Sharp Literacy, and she joins us now to talk more about the book, There Grows the Neighborhood, Agriculture in the City. Uh, the first thing, Linda, that, that stands out to me about this book is the artwork, so I guess we should talk about that. The pictures are, are just beautiful, the illustrations. It, it's a little bit different than our, our normal um, books, where they were a little bit more whimsical, where this is really um, urban agriculture graffiti type mm -hmm. um, we had one of the, um, the illustrator was Paul Craven from Milwaukee who has just done a phenomenal job and very very well known not only in Milwaukee but outside of Milwaukee and it was written in collaboration with growing power CEO will Allen so that gives it another uh, really big local hook um, uh, just tell us a little bit about the premise of the book sure um, the collaboration with Will Allen and Growing Power, we, our, our missions are the same mm -hmm. in, in some sense where he really does um, want to um, educate urban uh, school children on the um, benefits of urban agriculture, sustainability, eating uh, healthy, good food. So when we were um, kind of determining what our next book was, we thought this would be a perfect uh, collaboration and with what a better, you know, better individual. And I was telling you what I think is interesting is it, it's got a lot of good science in it. It's got a lot of interesting facts, but it's also a story about a few young kids. Right. Right. Uh, two kids in the third grade. It's uh, um, a book that we will use in our third grade curriculum. So it's a book about uh, two third graders that are on a mystery scavenger hunt to find out it it's actually uh, takes place in 2042 on how Milwaukee became the urban agriculture uh, capital of the world. Uh, were you able to have any contact or do you have feedback from the students who participated in this project and what that was that was like for them? Yeah, they um, we worked with the research of the um, book with, with 13 schools. However, we worked real closely with four schools, Milwaukee um, urban schools and the four quadrants of, mm -hmm. of the city. And they just had a lot of fun. And it was just really interesting to, to see how um, when they planted their own gardens on what they put in their garden versus somebody, the south side student versus a north side student. And I think they really learned that, um, you know, eating healthy can be good. It's, it's not just, you know, lettuce and, and beans, but there's different recipes and um, they, they had a really good time in, in education at the same time. On top of that, when you talk about your mission, you know, for them to, to realize that they can be part of a writing process, not just necessarily reading, but, you know, this, this whole thing about them being involved in that, it must have been uh, just a really eye-opening them. Oh my, you know, and then to see the book when it was published. Yeah, right. and, and we, I um, did this. Yeah, I did this and um, they were so proud and um, especially because what went along with that and I want to thank the Brewers Community Foundation for funding um, the book, but also uh, we did a mural in conjunction with the book um, that was um, that was funded by Ryan and Larissa Braun. So they were, we had one school that just worked on a mural that will be, um, it's a um, going to be at Miller Park starting um, in April when the brewers are back. All right, real quick, where can we get the book? Uh, sharpliteracy.org or on Amazon. All right, thanks so much. Great to see you again, Linda. Yes.